Lacrosse has always been a big part of my life. I started playing when I was in third or fourth grade. I played all the way through high school where I played JV for two years and varsity for two years as the backup goalie. As a backup goalie, I really didn't see the playing time necessary enough to get me any sort of looks as far as playing in college. After high school, I decided to stay local. I attended Stonehill College in Easton, Massachusetts, which is just about 30 minutes away from my hometown of Walpole. I decided to join the Stonehill Club lacrosse team. I made a lot of great friends. I had some great memories playing and hanging out with the guys. I really enjoyed playing club because there wasn't as much pressure on you like there was on us in high school. Wins and losses obviously count, but you're more doing it just to stay in the game and have fun. But as much fun as I had, that's not to say there weren't any bumps and bruises along the way. In total, I think I had about five hospital trips with two concussions, a nasty foot injury, an ankle injury that required surgery, and I also broke my wrist. After college, I stuck with my niche of lacrosse. However, with my competitive playing career pretty much over, I decided to focus on it from another perspective, as a member of the media. My major in college was communications, so I had a little bit of background in writing and photography and videography. I went out and bought myself a camera and taught myself how to use it. I would go to random high school games and just film them as a hobby. I did this for about a year and a half to two years. After that, I caught on with Boston Lax. I was basically given free reign to go film whatever games I wanted to, cut up a short video and post it on their Instagram account, which I'm now running. Along with covering high school lacrosse, I've had the benefit of covering NCAA Final Fours. I'm Mike Flanagan, standing here with national champion Will Whitesell of Roxbury Latin, Newton, Massachusetts. Will, what's this moment like for you right now? Honestly, it's surreal. Uh... I can't, I don't really have words to describe right now, so it's just awesome. The newly founded Premier Lacrosse League, MLL All-Star Games. Pick for me and my defender went underneath the pick and I had space from about eight yards. And that's my money zone, so I just let it let it go and it trickled in and I'm, I'm happy about it. And the FIL World Lacrosse Games. You know, it's just another opportunity to wear USA and obviously go for a World Cup, you know, and uh, take down the Canadians, obviously, because they won last year and go for gold, so I'm really excited. I don't know what the future holds for me. I'm not sure if living a life of just covering lacrosse is sustainable. I've met some great people, developed some great friendships, and it's something that I would love to do for the rest of my life. I also haven't totally given up the dream on playing just yet. This past summer, I was lucky enough to get the opportunity to work with former MLL All-Star Martin Bose, and he offered to take some shots on me to see how my abilities as a goalie compared to somebody with a skill set such as his. He had a couple lucky shots go through, but I think I got the better end of it. <laughs> Not my best idea. I hope you all enjoyed my story. Here are my Twitter and Instagram handles. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't kill me.